Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome to part 5 on how to make an 8x5 pocket mini album. So in this part we will start on page um, 3 on uh, the front and decorate that and also make uh, one of the tag inserts. So I already finished decorate uh, the back side of um, page uh, 2 so I will show you that as soon as we put this together. So uh, this time we are going to flip it the opposite uh, way. So this is going to go this side and then we fold this the other way because we are going to have these flaps on the front. And then we fold this also this way. So now it's best to take uh, the tape on this side so it doesn't show up in the middle part here uh, when we take the decor paper on. So then we glue it together on top and be sure to meet up again here, on the top here, so, and also on the bottom. So now my repositional glue is not so good anymore, so yeah. And here we are also going to have a flap, so uh, this I cut at 5 by 7, but this we are going to cut off a bit, but we are going to glue down the paper first to see about a quarter inch, I think we will um, cut that off, so that we will glue on the top here. So, so this will uh, create a sort of um, match uh, uh, box or match book <laughs> box, uh, yeah, flip up. So I um, will show you the finished uh, page here. And the insert, I can maybe show you that as well, uh, that is going to go on the back side here, so that we will make or uh, decorate in the next episode, so that will go on the back side here. So here I already glued the flap on top here, so then we can start to decorate on the top and uh, I can show you what I did here. So uh, here is a flip up like so with a magnet and this flips up here so so this will be exactly the same as this one and here you can uh, take magnets on the bottom if you like to or you can just uh, bend it a bit like so and I also have a tag on top here so just slide that inside here so so we will start uh, making uh, this uh, pocket here and uh, here you need to measure um, the image you are going to use. So I measured uh, this image here and uh, took one inch um, uh, wider. So this is now three and uh, almost uh, three and three quarter almost by five. So then we will store and half inch all the way around, all four sides. So now you can't see the score lines, take it a bit close up here. So now this middle part should fit precise inside here, like so. So then we will cut off uh, uh, where the score line meets here. So. we are going to um, make or use that as a hinge and then I go in an angle here is um, the scoring line meet up and I cut in an angle here so and then we can start folding this in to the front take this out of the way and see if uh, this angles here meets up and it was a bit on the outside here and just check first that this will fit here yeah. so I will just cut off a bit more here so they will meet up so so then we can start gluing 
this on and this is from uh, the 8x8 uh, paper so but maybe I think I will have um, the paper inserted here in uh, first it's more easy <laughs> so here I cut out from uh, this 12x12 paper and that is from an insert that we are going to use on the top of the page I'll show you more of that later so I want this inside in here so and then we can glue the top one so I'm try to line it up so it will fit here So, and then we can glue this on uh, uh, this uh, 6 by uh, 6 paper, and it's uh, 4 by 6, I think, yes. So, I'll we'll just try to center it here. So, about, so we glue this down here. See, I was a bit on the outside with the hinge here, so I just cut that off. So, and here I want a magnet uh, closure. So then we can take a magnet on the back side here. So, and also one on the back side. Then we, uh, then I cut out uh, this uh, paper to fit this, so it's uh, five by seven, I think about. And here you can see I used uh, cut out this frame because we don't <laughs> have to use all the paper. So you can you cut out flowers here and also use for inserts like this. So then I will glue this on the top here. And then we can glue this on the flap here. So, a border to go on the bottom here. So this is from the 8 by 8 paper pad and I just uh, cut it down to fit here. So we we'll glue that on. So and uh, then I want to border a strip on the top here and uh, here I used a Martha Stewart um, punch to punch th uh, this out and uh, then I will, this is from the 12 uh, by 12 paper so I will just glue that on top here So, and then cut 
cut it off. Take off some extra glue here. Cut off the rest here. This I will line up with the front here, so then I take some glue on the back side. Line it up here. And press down. So, so that leaves about uh, a quarter of an inch, I think, maybe a bit over. I'm not sure this part here, how much I'm going to cut it off. Yeah, it's a bit over a quarter of an inch. So, and uh, then I think I will have uh, some flowers to decorate a bit on the side here. One and this I could have glued on before I glued this lace on, but I think we will manage. Take a bit uh, on the top here, and these flowers are also from um, um, the 12 by 12. So I take this under and this over. So, and a bit on the side on the leaves here. So the photo can be slide on on the side here. So then I just cut off the rest here. So then uh, we can have a tag on the top and um, here I will use uh, this uh, tag that I custom made. I showed in the first uh, episode it was this uh, tag here, so I will link to the video below. But if you don't like to make this, you can uh, make this shape here to fit inside, and here you can find the template on the 12 by 12 backside paper. So this measured on uh, four and a half inch long, and this is the same but I will use uh, the same uh, shape inside here. So, so and then I just cut out the crown that I will have on the top. Oops. So, so now we need to take this out before we lift this up, else it will bend. <laughs> so yeah, we can leave it outside. And uh, then we can start on the inside decoration. So, and here I have uh, from the 12 by 12 paper, and I didn't cut it all the way down because it's not going to show up. But if you're going to use magnets here, you must uh, cut it all the way down. down these flaps here, but we will just take a tiny bit of glue on the ends here. So, need to hold it a bit so I'm sure it will glue well down. Uh, here is a uh, frame that I cut out from the 12 by 12 and just uh, added uh, this uh, gentleman here and backed it with some 6 uh, by 6 uh, pink paper, so I can hold here maybe and glue this down. So 
this you don't have to back with any pink paper you can leave it open in the top and you can slide a little photo inside so. and then I have this lady cut out it's from the 12 by 12 paper can start on the top flap here. So can I maybe make uh, the pocket uh, first. So here I used another lace uh, punch and um, have this here I think. I have to check on the other one so I do it the same. Yeah and here I took this on the top. This one, so I will glue that on first. And both uh, these strips are from uh, the 12 by 12 paper. This also need to be cut down a bit, I think. So I'm gonna measure here how high this is now. It's six and five eight. So then I need to cut this down a bit. So so then we can glue this pocket on. So here I just will glue on the sides and not on the bottom because uh, it stops by itself. Uh, with the folding, so we're sure we get the tag inside here. So it was a bit too long, so I will just cut that off. And I also uh, cut out uh, these uh, words here and backed it with uh, some uh, brown paper. It says uh, yeah mode, I think. I'm not sure. So glue that on the top here. So I back it with uh, some other paper just to get some depth in it and it shows more up. So then we can glue this on the top flap here. inside here and also some flowers maybe and uh, a lady here Let's see I need an image on uh, this side as well so I think I will go for this so this is also from the 12 by 12 glue it on here. So this uh, would maybe be best to glue down before we uh, put the pocket on. So we don't glue it all down. I'll just put in some paper here so prevent that. And here I want this to go 
on this side here, over and under. So take some glue here and some on the back side here. to glue it all down and then I will take a glue a bit on the sides here. So then we can make uh, the insert or photo mat here. So this is uh, from the 12 uh, by 12 paper and uh, this is from the 6 by 6 paper so uh, be sure to have it the right side up so just glue this on the sides and bottom so you can slide a photo under here This is cut out from the 12 by 12, so I think I will have this on here. Just take a tiny bit of glue in the middle here. So about. So then we can slide this inside here. can close it up and then we need to bend this a bit to get it inside this type of matchbox uh, yeah, style. And uh, we are also going to have some um, uh, cover up uh, this on the back or this uh, magnet here. So see here, it's the right script, yeah. So this is uh, frame is from the 12 by 12 and uh, it's backed it with the uh, same pink paper here. In the six by six, so not glue in the middle over the magnet. <laughs> so we'll have this on top here, and then I will use uh, this on the bottom. So, but this I need to cut off a bit. So get this straight. Maybe take the ruler and see how I want it to stay. So about. sides here and the bottom here so we can slide a little tag inside here so this uh, from the 8 by 8 paper pads uh, they are smaller so this could be nice to put inside here so but I think I just will leave it like uh, this now these two pages uh, meets up. So pull this inside here so you can see it. And take the tag inside here. So here you can also do some stamping if you like to. So then I think we will make uh, this uh, tab insert for uh, this uh, page here in this uh, part. So here I decided to uh, cut the tag uh, down a bit from uh, 7 and 7, 8 to 7 and 3 quarter because this is going to build up a bit so uh, we need more room here. So uh, yeah, so we can start with uh, gluing down this paper and it's from uh, the 8 by 8. Lining it up here. 
it up. And then I want this border so it meets up with uh, the other page. So I have that on the side here. And this is also from the 8 by 8 I think. Or maybe it was from the 12 by 12 No, I'm not sure. So. two steps. So then we maybe can take the back layer border on the same time here. at all. Up a bit. So. so here I want a pocket and uh, this I cut out I used uh, the outside frame. I think it was from on the first uh, page. So I want a pocket to go here. And here I had planned to have this under here. Let's see if it's too late. No, I think I will manage. So here I just will take some glue on the sides here. So this is best to glue on first and uh, then take this stri strip on here. So I made it a bit difficult for myself here. Try to slide it under. So that worked. And uh, then I think I will have um, this I cut out from the 12 by 12 paper. So I will use that on the corner on the top. sure to glue it uh, well down. And I also think I will have this image inside here. So this uh, would maybe have also be best to glue down on the pocket before I glue the pocket down. But I think I will manage. <laughs> so I just take some glue on the front and some on the back side here. I've uh, taken a good amount of uh, multi mat on so it's uh, stiff so it won't uh, tear. So that's also why I gave this uh, tag a bit more room inside. So then I think uh, we can have uh, this uh, frame here inside. So I can do that on this 6x6 six six paper and this is from. Uh, cards. So I just go a bit down on three sides here. So, just to dry a bit. And I think I also will use uh, this template here, this tag here, to have inside. But we can do some more decorating here first. So some the chair here and some flowers and uh, this I think I will glue down with a multi mat so I'm sure it will stick well down. So this I'm not sure where I cut this out from it was maybe the 12 by 12 paper. And this also
side here as well, just for some more decor. And this frame you also can cut out and uh, use this as a photo frame if you like to. my heat tool a bit uh, to dry it uh, quick up but uh, if you do that be careful it can start to bubble up the multimat so I will be back so now I think it's uh, dried so we can take this inside here so and also this little tag here so now this is ready to be put inside here and also I decided to take some words it was a bit uh, uh, yeah, thought it was missing something, so these are cut off from the 12 by 12. So. Just for some decor, I can still uh, take a photo over here, and the same I did on this side here. So then we can pull this inside. So. So now these two pages are similar and meets up and uh, in the next part we are going to uh, decorate the back side and take the insert inside here and uh, decorate uh, that a bit as well. So I think I need to glue this a bit better down because they stop here you can see. So I think I need to lift it up a bit and glue them down. So can go inside here so this will you do in uh, part six so i hope it was a bit inspiring that you can use uh, some ideas and if you have any questions please look below the video just click show more there you will find uh, the link to my blog where i answer questions and i um, you will also find the link to the blog post uh, where i will post pictures of these so you can uh, see the fussy cutouts and so some close-up pictures. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye!